bring in now, if we can, Amir Fakhravar, the Senate Chairman of the National Iranian Congress. That is the opposition group to the Iranian regime. Morton Klein is here, the National President of the Zionist Organization of America. Thank you both for being on. So, Morton, uh, Merrick Garland, the Attorney General, announcing the criminal charges filed by the Justice Department. This was yesterday against Hamas's leader, Sinwar. Um, so why now do you believe? Is this more symbolic than anything else, or does this have major implications? I've talked to people in Washington. They're beginning to understand that Israel's war against Iran and Hamas and Hezbollah is a war to not only protect Israel, but to protect America and the West. In their rallies, Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran scream repeatedly, death to America, death to the West, death to Israel. They put it on their missiles. Their missiles, it says, death to America and death to Israel. Their goal is to destroy America and the West. In fact, we shouldn't be surprised. During World War II, when the Nazis were in war against the world, the Arab religious leaders sided with the Nazis. They even sent an Arab battalion to fight with the Nazis against America. Israel is on the front line because they're there in the, in, in, in the Middle East. But their atomic bombs of Iran and the, and the destruction of Israel, the atomic bombs are meant for America and the West and France and Germany and Italy, as well as Israel. This is a war against all of us. America is beginning to understand this, that we have to defend Israel, who's fighting to protect us here in America as well as people in Europe. Morton, thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. We do have sound from the White House Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. She spoke yesterday about <coughs> President Biden's effort to get a hostage deal done. Here's that moment. He was asked a question by your colleague, a direct question, and he answered it. Make no mistake about it, Hamas leaders are going to pay for these crimes. Uh, and he and his team, for sure, will keep uh, working around the clock to get this hostage deal done. Amir, we heard President Biden just the other day claim that Netanyahu was not doing enough. When we're talking about these negotiations, what's the impact of the United States under a Biden administration? Um, uh, thank you for having me. Um, Emma, um, when uh, Biden um, yelled again at Netanyahu when uh, Hamas killed the hostages. Uh, it was not new. It, it happened. It started uh, during the Obama-Biden administration. And w when we are talking about the negotiation, let's go back to 2015. when Because Iran is the main player here. Hamas is nobody. Hamas is just, they, they are like Hezbollah, like other um, Iranian proxies. They are the proxies of Islamic regime of Iran. U.S. and Israel, they are facing Iranian regime right now. In 2015, during the, um, the nuclear deal, uh, Obama-Biden, they handed $150 billion to Iranian regime, and it's supposed to be secret. Nobody's supposed to know about it. And you know why you know about that? Because I wrote an article for, for Real Clear Politics in March 2015. It was a calculation on my desk about this money. And I said, oh, it's supposed to be $150 billion. We don't know if it's true, if it's more than that. And then why? Why Biden and Obama administration back then gave that money to Iranian regime four years ago when Biden-Harris administration started with the motto of build back better. Do you remember that? The only place they could build back better was Iranian uh, proxies, the terrorists. After the uh, October 7th, five months after that, the, when three American soldiers have been killed by Iranian proxies, what happened? Biden-Harris administration, they gave $10 billion again to Iran, Iranian regime. Look, it's just give, feeding the number one state sponsor of terrorism with billions of dollars, and yeah, they can use it to build back better all the terrorist groups. It's wrong. The policy of President Trump was the one to go and kill Qasem Soleimani and go and destroy their uh, military machine, Islamic regime's military machine. We're going to leave it there. Amir Fakhravar joining us with his thoughts as well as Morton Klein. Thank you both, gentlemen. We do appreciate that. Thank you.